everyone and assalamu alaikum. If you're new to our channel, I'm Akib Ullah. I'm Ali Raja. Assalamu alaikum. This year we're a bit late growing our flowers because of Ramadan and everything. But today we decided to show you how we plant our flowers in pots and hanging baskets. This morning, my mum went out to our local garden centres and picked up a lot of flowers. Let's check out what she bought. What's this flower over here? This one's called Petonia. And it's like a pink and white colour flower. And it looks really nice. She got some pink geranium, some white geraniums as well. Wow, these flowers look so colourful and vibrant. They look so nice. We have different varieties of flowers with different colours. Some will go in baskets and others will go in pots. They will attract a lot of bees in our garden to help pollinate our vegetable garden. So Dad, what are you planting in this pot? Uh, in this pot we had, we had flowers in here last year and I'm reusing this uh, old compost. Uh, I'm thinking of uh, putting this uh, geranium right in the middle and maybe have a few trailing plants on the side so they trail down. So this is an upright um, geranium, pink, pink colour, fuchsia. And that can go on the side here and that will trail down. Dad, that, that would look very beautiful. I'm, I'm reusing compost from last year. Uh, to put some energy back in, the, in this compost, I'm going to be adding um, two handful of um, fish blood and bone and uh, maybe a handful of chicken mini pellet and that will uh, bring some energy back into the soil. Okay, take the plant out from the pot and I'm going to put this right in the center of this container here. Keep it straight. What's this trading plant here? That looks very this is, Yes, it does. Yes, let's put one of those on the side. And these plants are going to trail downwards. Yeah, they will trail downward. Yeah, let's put one of these. That looks very pretty. It's yeah, very the colour is very vibrant. That can go in here. Fuchsia. What's that one? That's, it. That's also a trailing fuchsia. So it will trail down. Oh yeah, put one of those in. So I'll put one of these, okay. Put it right over here. Okay, let's put this. Weather's been beautiful, hasn't it? Yes, it has. I'm really enjoying the weather. I'm looking forward to summer gardening. Me too, Dad. Planting in a hanging basket is very simple. Uh, fill up your hanging basket with multi-compost. Now, if you're using multi-compost with no added fertilizer, add about a couple of handful of fish, blood and bone. I use all my multi-compost with no added fertilizer so that I can add my own fertilizer to it. Get a pot and place the basket on top of the pot so that it stays in one place. Okay, so I've got my multi-compost uh, inside the um, um, hanging basket. I've got about two inch below the below the top, so there's enough room for me to place the root ball and then bury the root ball with the multi compost. I'm going to be add. I'm going to be planting Calibrocha, this beautiful looking uh, trailing plant. They look absolutely beautiful. Yes, they do. They look... Okay, what else? I'm going to put this. Um, What's that one? This beautiful looking Centradenia. Let me see. That's that. I find it difficult to pronounce. Centradenia. Centradenia. Centradenia Casada. It looks beautiful. It's not about the name, it's how it looks. So I'm going to put. 
Is that a trailing or just That's a... a trailing. I'm going to put one trailing in here. I'm going to put three of these plants. So one and maybe this. How about this one? They don't they don't actually flower. It's just a leafy plant. A leafy, leafy plant. They'll, they'll give a nice uh, contrast to it. We we'll put one of these. Oh, look at this beautiful brooch. Okay, so three of them, and I think that would look be absolutely beautiful. Don't want to put too many of them in there. So make a small hole for you to put this root ball in there. Okay. Now I'm going to bury the root ball with compost. So the root ball is not exposed. And that should look absolutely beautiful. So make sure you bury the root ball properly so they're not exposed to the sunlight. Now you just need to water your plant regularly without letting the soil dry out and throughout the summer you should have beautiful looking flowers and a lot of bees in your garden. That looks absolutely beautiful, doesn't it? Yes, it does. It looks amazing. I can imagine when these flowers get going and they will trail outward, they will look beautiful. And they will attract a lot of bees, Dad. And they would attract a lot of pollinators in the garden. They will make, me, make my garden look very beautiful. And look at this one here. That's looking really nice already. So I planted a geranium right in the middle and I have three trailing plant to the side. So in they drill slightly, downwards. Slightly largest container. And when this this plants will bush out, they would look beautiful with lots of flowers. Dad, we still got quite a lot of flowers to plant. I think I will let the, let your mum do all this work now. We will get her to plant all this. The flowers are her department. Mm. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you have, please give it a thumbs up and don't forget to share our videos with friends and family. As you know, sharing is caring. If you haven't subscribed to our channel, do something amazing and hit that subscribe button and hit that notification bell so you'll be notified every time we upload. Stay safe, Asalaamu As Alaikum and until then I'll see you in the next one. Happy gardening, Asalaamu As Alaikum and I'll see you in the next one. Okay, that looks absolutely pretty, look. It looks so beautiful. <sighs> My mum's going to be really pleased with us, Dad. Okay. I think we'll let her do the other planting.